Welcome to the final part of the Bay Lake Regional Planning Commission's webinar series, where we provide you with some tips on how to build a budget to right-size your online presence. In this video, we discuss the potential costs involved in establishing your business's virtual home so you can decide what approaches might make sense for you. In particular, we explore the following questions. What do options to create an online presence typically cost? How much are you willing to pay? And how can you keep your costs in line with your budget? Let's begin with our first question of interest. What do options to create an online presence typically cost? Well, some products and services are actually free. Google My Business is a free and easy to use tool for companies to be sure their business shows up in Google searches and on Google Maps. Since most people use Google, we recommend you start here. Social medias are also free to set up. However, for additional services, you could opt in to pay more. For example, you can pay an additional $60 per month to update your business's LinkedIn page to premium. You could pay for advertisements, promotions, and paid partnerships. And you could pay for professionally crafted content for graphic designers, photographers, and the like to stand out more. Next on our list are do-it-yourself websites. Today, you can find a range of platforms like WordPress or Squarespace that provide you the tools to design your own website for a small to modestly priced service fee. A do-it-yourself website building platform could cost you less than $300 per year, and most platforms offer similarly priced plans to choose from. For example, GoDaddy charges $15 to $25 per month, WordPress charges $8 to $45 per month, and Squarespace charges $18 to $40 per month. Variations in plan pricings are typically based on the kind of business you operate. Plans are typically more expensive for e-commerce businesses and more affordable for freelancers. Some platforms also charge reduced rates for new businesses. Online fee-based marketplaces like Uber Eats or Airbnb can range in price. Costs will typically increase relative to your use of the platform or relative to the amount you earn through customer transactions. The typical model involves a marketplace platform charging a business owner a flat rate and or a percentage-based rate tied to sales. This option could cost you hundreds to thousands of dollars per month, depending on what service you use and how much revenue you generate for it. For example, Etsy charges 20 cents for each item you list, plus they take a 5% transaction fee for items sold. Grubhub charges a 20% marketing fee, a 10% delivery fee, and a minimum 30 cents processing fee. Fiverr, which is a platform for freelance services, takes a 20% commission. In some instances, use of these platforms may not be worth the cost. You could evaluate the extent to which the additional marketing potential and visibility will be worth the price for your business before signing on. Alternatively, you could try these services for a limited time and discontinue use if it ends up not being right for you. Professional services could be the most costly. Building your online presence can be very time consuming and potentially frustrating, especially if you are not the most technically savvy. So if your financial support it, you could consider hiring professionals to take the lead or new staff to manage your online presence for you. Professional service providers, such as an SEO expert, a web developer or designer, or a marketing firm can be costly, but depending on your budget, it may save you time give you a more refined look, and garner better outcomes. According to Glassdoor.com, the average social media or marketing coordinator's salary is about $46,000 per year. If this cost gives you heartburn, then hiring a new staff member or professional on a contract basis with this focused role may not be right for you. It could also be overkill for many small businesses who only wish to maintain a small online presence. Consider cost reduction strategies, such as training someone on your existing team, hiring an intern, or hiring a limited term professional to help with initial setup only. Next, let's explore how much you're willing to pay to optimize your online presence. With advances in technology and do-it-yourself programming platforms, your business can actually establish an online presence for little to no cost. Or, depending on what you are looking for, 
you may choose to invest a little more to hopefully get more out of your efforts. First, establish a realistic monthly budget for your efforts. A realistic budget accounts for any and all ongoing fees, advertisement costs, and staffing costs. You could start with a target budget amount, which would be how much you can afford, and then back into line item costs priority by priority. Or you could develop your ideal marketing strategy budget and then pare it back down to fit your financial reality. However you choose to develop your budget, it will be especially important to be precise by evaluating costs at a granular level. For example, a website will have a range of ongoing costs. A domain name, for instance, will need to be renewed annually, and that cost can vary based on the kind of extension you have, a .com versus a .org, for example. You might choose to pay for professional web designers or an optional secure sockets layer to protect customer data from hackers. All these individual costs should factor into your overall website line item budget. Similarly, you'll want to determine a personnel budget based on how many hours you or one of your employees will spend curating your web presence. To do this, determine the number of hours a specific employee will spend on these efforts, and then multiply those hours by the employee's hourly rate plus any benefits value. Your personnel budget will need to be monitored and revised over time as you learn how long various marketing efforts will take you and your staff. Finally, let's explore strategies to keep your costs in line with your budget. If your budget is limited, start small and grow your efforts over time. This will give you a chance to learn what customers and clients are more responsive to and it will help you determine how much staff time to allocate each week to maintenance and content creation. Continuously monitor the benefit you receive relative to the prices you are paying to maintain your online presence. Review the analytics provided by these platforms you use or collect data using your own metrics. If these platforms are not helping you reach your target audience, cancel your subscriptions or pare down the amount of time you're spending to maintain free services like social medias. Finally, don't get so carried away with maintaining your online presence that your other responsibilities suffer. Balancing your time can help you stay on budget and assure that your online presence is a complementary effort to everything else you do. The Bay Lake Regional Planning Commission thanks you for tuning in to the final part of our webinar series.